Good day guys, it's Promise Vasni here once again. Okay, today I'm gonna be lamenting on shape combo, shape combination, and Bezier to which one is preferable and why. Okay, so let's let me say I wanna get a shape. Okay, so I've actually done a video on how to use Bezier and the processes, so I'm going to be talking about shape combo and how powerful it can be. Okay, with shape combination you can get and even though you are not good at base you don't bother with shape combination you can get any damn shape you need anyone as far as shape combination is concerned and you can you can work you are very very creative you can generate stuff so this is how it works you get a shape let's say you need a crescent shape crescent moon shape so you get the circle first this is a circle now so you change the color so you'll be seeing the circle you got bring it bring it out then you copy again copy change the color change the color to a very very different don't use two similar colors so that when you'll be separate you won't be getting remainders of the color. use a very very different color let's say this is red this is black i can use white here now use black this better and this one is is very very different from this one you see this is very contrasting from this thing now so their contrast ratio is different so i want to form a crescent you just get this two shape now you align it in a way it gives you a crescent shape perfectly well you just go and match go and match the two match them once you make them, you go and erase, erase the color you want. Go press. This is red. You erase it. You see, I've gotten. Then you increase this tolerance to 15. So you remove a little of this. There might still be a remainder. So you increase the tolerance to 15. So you clears everything, and then you can go and change your color to anyone you wish. Change your color to anyone you wish. You see. I've gotten a crescent but if you use bezier trust me you're not going to get this sharp curved edge crescent perfectly well like this that's why when i want to construct logos that they are professional logos i don't use bezier because using shape combination will give you exact of what you need so this is a crescent whereas there are many more you can do with shape combination you can do a lot with shape combo just differentiate the colors let me try a more complicated one so this is a shape okay guys let's try a circle outline a circle outline circle lines use a uh, position alignment you see you align to the center these two double just tap the two of them it aligns on its own then you copy it again copy it with this button change the color change the color it's not red so for you to get your line you need to reduce the size a little bit so we'll have to reduce the size let me say 49 press ok then you align it again with this the same alignment you use for this one so it gives you a perfect alignment so you don't have one side won't be bigger than the other side so you merge it you merge it once you merge go to erase color erase you don't want click on this red just click on this button if you click it brings out this you go and take the color you want to erase so it's on red already that's why i'm erasing red as fast as i can so it's on red so it's on red already so i click on red it removes this for me so you see i've gotten my line then i'll increase this tolerance to 15 so i will have less of this thing less of this red there can leave it like this if i want to i can preferably go and change the color i've gotten a line so this is how i get lines because for you to use bezier you cannot get circle line exactly like this or else you use uh, this shape combo it can give you anything if you want to get a, a a a line that is not complete you can just after getting this line get another shape okay maybe you get maybe you can just get if you want to get open lines something like this just get something like this 
press ok align your circle to the center align it to the center so you get what you need after aligning it then you don't have to align the triangle to the center but you don't have to align it to the center vertic uh, uh, vertically just align it horizontally you see this this one now don't need it this top one this horizontal one you don't need it look at the one you need this vertical one so you click on it it's aligned it made now so this is aligned now it will give me perfect alignment with this circle opening so this is it if you want bigger width for this opening you can see increase the size of your rectangle and see click this one this uh vertical alignment to align it here so that you get uh, the same ratio for up and down so that they, there won't be anyone bigger or smaller so it will be okay you press ok you go and merge go and merge merge it and erase the color you can do this multiple times you can erase and erase and erase and still get what you need i can see change this color now I still get something else you see i've got another yellow with this thing so you can erase and keep erasing and keep erasing so try out this shape combination. Use it for lines. Use it for whatever it is. When you want to construct a logo that you know that is something very much perfect, you say go, you go try it out. There are a lot you can do with this. You can use it for lines. You can use it for curves. For there is a lot you can do with shape combination. So if you don't know how to use it or you don't know about it, just go try it out you can try it out there are a lot just try many things at tricycle rectangle uh, a lot of shapes on the shape combination just change the color make sure the color you're changing it from has a very different like uh, blue and yellow purple and ye uh, move or purple and yellow like two different contrasting colors then use them and match each other then you raise the other one and you get a perfect shape you can use it for lines i created line here it for open lines like this you can use it for wherever we just work with alignment so that you'll be getting something exact one side won't be bigger than the other side okay so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and also share with your friends okay so have a great day